On this episode, I head up to NC State for World Team Trials. World Team Trials morning. Supposed to have a ride. I'm driving instead. I decided not to drive the six and a half hours up there just because A, I'm lazy, and B, that was stupid. I waited too long to book my flight and it went up like 300 bucks. So, on you, Delta. Recently become obsessed with seeing how late I can leave my house and still make my flight. So my flight starts boarding in 10 minutes. I'm still 10 minutes from the airport. We gonna make it happen. Quick little pre-pride, quick little, little pre-flight prayer. No crime, baby. No disgusting big people pouring over into my seat. Nobody coughing, spreading hands, foot, and mouth disease or SARS. My drawback to my terrible habit of showing up late is I miss the check bag cutoff window sometimes, so I'm carrying this month. Hey, with me. Made it to Raleigh, did not die, Ubering straight to the venue. It's always an amazing challenge finding where the Uber pickup is at every airport in America, because every airport in America hates Uber. Prearranged services. That could mean so many things going on right here. I lied about straight to the venue, had to drop off some crap. See if we can get some type of credential. Made it in, found this numb skull. Oh, this so. is Sydney Torres? Hey, what is up? Nomad art dipped. He's probably doing some real work. What am I doing? What am I doing? Check the DMs. It's a pretty sweet Social setup. Media. I'm just doing a quick pan. Don't do the license. What's up, brother? Predictions. Okay. What am I predicting here? <laughs> I don't know. Just random. <laughs> the end of the world? You know, the end of the world's coming in 2032. Or we're gonna run out of water. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Does that dinosaurs come back? No, no, there's gonna be a water war. It's gonna be like like Mad Max or some shit. Probably Shamu. Probably Shamu's gonna kill us. Shamu's gonna kill us. there's a shortage of water, Shamu's on legs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, they're coming out of the water. Damn it. Okay, first of all, I wanted the I wanted the Night King to win because I wanted a show to be like everyone dies. He he boned his hand a couple times. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? I basically already ended, right? Like I don't know, Daenerys is either gonna go completely crazy or her and John are gonna settle down happily ever after. I don't know. You know? I've never watched one episode. So Neither have I. Not I have one no episode have I ever watched <laughs> Game of Thrones. You, you, ain't, know, alone, you ain't alone I in don't that. Care. You ain't alone I, in I that. I don't know when it's on and I don't care. <laughs> Trials session two, open it back up. I got an announce on Mal One, had a blast. Hope they don't fire me. Thank you for Why do you love the pirates so much? Pirates. I hate the pirates. Natural buddy. You know it. Winding down, the day is getting wrapped up. I'm you're trying to, you're up trying to you. skate I was going to hold it for you. Thoughts on day one? Thoughts on day one? Great. Uh, Brayton Lee likes being down by six or seven points, and then he'll win after that. That uh, seems to be his game plan. Who was, the, who was, the, most who was the most disappointing for you? <laughs> who stunk it up the most? Honestly, uh, I'd have to say Nomad today. Oh, that's a good call. That's always a safe bet when you don't want to call somebody out. <laughs> Bader, who are you most disappointed in their performance today? I'm not even going to ask who. Cliff Fretwell. That's, that's, well, if you were Brock Hyde, I would I believe that. that. Like, <laughs> but you're not. After that, probably Christian. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to say, I'm going to be up there. He said Nomad. Nomad, who are you, whose performance are you the most disappointed in today? Today? Yours. Wow, that's I'm an easy target. <laughs> Set yourself up. Screw all of these cats. <laughs> Lost again this morning? I'm telling you, he's the worst driver. <laughs> Do not put this in there. All right, hold on. There's a lot of things going on. One, you are not Big Tens. This dude, he almost wrecked, like, not wrecked, but like, he like slams on the gas, hard brake. The first thing he does, we're getting the rental car. He's like mashing the, um, couldn't, he literally couldn't pull into a... 
That's what happens when you try and eat like me. We're stupid. Each one of us ordered a freaking salad. You started it. I started it. <laughs> you started it. There's yeah. no way I'm going to eat all this. You said leftovers. <laughs> We're only here for another day, day and a half. Little night with the flow guy. I'll grab some pizza. Some nice little local IPAs at Trophy Brewery. Man, I love my man Ryan Holmes. He's the GOAT. Tomorrow, the seniors take to the mat. Got that gourmet breakfast. Holmes is picking me up in 10. I gotta smash this quick. You're unusually not hype, Nomad. It's kind of a big day. I, I did a loud clap in the room about three times. Like Let me see the, the loud the, clap. The pick, piss Christian off. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wow, that is a loud clap. It's annoying. PTSD, <laughs> just come back on you. Day two, did you get your sleep? Uh, not, it wasn't great, but it doesn't matter. Great. Why? You didn't get your hyperallergenic, posturepedic no, sleep numbers? I didn't. Some people massive. just need way too much. Did you get Some good sleep? All right, great sleep. Great had, sleep. Uh, office chair. Yeah, I feel like oh, you no, could I sleep had, in your wrestling stance. I had I had a nice bed, had a good chat with my friends Mark Bader and Sean Connell. Oh, wow. And then we had, we had a little bottle of wine. That just sounds like normal fun. <laughs> Goes down today, senior start, mini tournament, world team trials, juniors best of three, ladies Gonna scrap, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Reynolds Arena behind me. I might call some matches, I might just hang out, I don't know. I'm just soaking it in right now. So, I saw the dead daddy smirk. How are you picking on the little guys? Hey. How are you picking on the little guys? <laughs> it's the only people I can. What is this? Is this a picture you took when you were in California? Nice little fishing hat, right? I'm going bald, so I need something to come to I got to protect your head very no, well. Shit, right? I got to protect your bald spot. I know. You can see through, man. Uh, office for the day. Four years. I don't know why this guy's overseeing. This is the, this is the video announcing oversight committee. I feel the pressure now. I got, I'm gonna have to be very professional. Dang it. We have lost all power in the arena. Pandemonium in here. Borrowing Spay's rental car. Fitting tag for Spay's driving ability. Cause that's what you are when you're riding with Spay. Quick coffee run. Kyle's just left out on me this morning, took one of the rental cars, didn't even ask, hey Cliff, you want some caffeine? Um, the answer's yes. Now, what am I doing? I'm going to get my own coffee, and I'm getting, I'm getting piles of coffee. So, um, I believe we call that turning the other cheek. And just like that, it's a wrap. What other rock star head coaches are you gonna see right. rolling up wrong. mats? This man We're not scared wrong. of hard work at all. Go it is contagious, man. There's no job hard too small for a wrestling contagious. coach. And you gotta lead by example. at World Team Trials, not just that, not just being there as a fan, but got to come take my first matches with Mark Bader, even though it's been a long time us us being in the same realm together. We've never commentated uh, broadcast before. I'm um, getting to see my man Tony Ramos hang it up. Um, great friend and, and, and just an all-around good dude. And I got to see Gable Stevenson battle for you know, a world team spot as a as a practically a teenager, and just got to see some amazing wrestling and some great fan, friends in the community. You know, just I'm super blessed to be able to, you know, call a lot of these high level guys my friends and coaches and mentors and things like that, and just be in the same scene with them and be shoulder to shoulder and just experience on a level that I never thought I'd be able to in wrestling.